Hey guys, Jeff the maintenance man. Joe, you'll be surprised to know that I almost got a full bottle of R22. That's my baby right there. I've been uh, recovering when there's... Um, I've been recovering from units that are getting replaced. So, almost. I want to say it's... Eh, I don't know. I don't have a scale with me right now. But, it's almost... It's over halfway full so um hopefully not contaminated but with these units that we have here is is it's crazy as you see get a jug of that stupid crap this is our storage room anyway and that out of the way this is our storage room and this is the storage room where we keep things that are not exactly waterproof so appliances uh everywhere these are dishwasher that's a dishwasher to stove and stackable units I think there's four there this is a uh, refrigerator uh, some couple ranges some more little 17 inch dishwashers here's what our stoves look like they're glass top the summit brand because uh, Kenmore doesn't make these small stoves anymore with the glass top who would have thunk it? Summit is the only brand that we can get a hold of right now. So, we're stuck with that. I, I, they're alright. I just, I like, I prefer the Kenmore's better. They've, they got digital controls. This one's got analog and digital controls, which doesn't make sense. But have one or the other. Over in here, AC filters in the bathroom here. Yep. These are AC filters. Some are pleated, some are not. Some are. That's a 12 by 20. Some are just the shittiest filters you can get. Look at that. <laughs> I don't know where we ordered those from. <laughs> the shittiest filters. Um, but that's fine. You know, with those X13 motors burning up every day, you don't want any more restriction. That's for freaking sure. Uh. And it's probably because our duct size is not right for those motors anyway. Who knows? Got some lighting stuff over here. Lex. Lex is a subscriber of mine, I hope. He's certainly a maintenance guy. And he certainly has a story to tell you about that. So, yeah. We got toilets. Um, if you haven't seen Lex Vance, check him out. I'll give you a shout out right now, Lex. Um, because the reason we have those toilets is because of the same reason that you mentioned in your video which I'm not going to give that away but we also have the American Standard toilet in a box we have the Cadet Pro which is still American Standard but it comes with a tank and a bowl I think it's a, a high if, if I'm not mistaken it's a high toilet and a low um, tank and I'll explain to you in a minute why, why we need those. But we got vanities, vanities tops, and all this stuff, and this, that, and another. But here's why you need that kind of toilet. Um, can't show you in here, but these vanities that are already in here, they go all the way to the end of that mirror right there. So they go over and they have a small shelf. So if you got a taller toilet, it wouldn't fit under there. And the other vanity uh, has been ripped out. So. So I can't show you from that, but that's why we need the the high toilet but the low tank. We kind of figured that out along with it. But again, like a little mini shop, uh, we have the hell are all these GFIs? Wall switch occupancies. Oh yeah, they sent us a whole bunch of uh, motion detector. Thing. So when we go in somewhere, it turns on the lights, and when we leave, they go off automatically. Um, offices and stuff like that. Just small stuff. Uh, outlet plates, outlet covers, blah, blah, blah. Um, more down there. More over here. Locks. Um, just flapper valves. We, we're, I mean, almost all of ours use color style things and not even a flapper valve or a whole new flapper valve now. You know, grab bars. Um, there's a little box of ballast, which... I don't even know why that's in there, but 
just uh, extra parts, guys. There's a tow cart for one of our turn guys and some more lighting stuff. So in this room over here is really all about lighting and electricity stuff and our Comcast stuff. So light bulbs stacked to the ceiling. Light bulbs almost stacked to the ceiling. If you take a couple more of those boxes and put them up. Uh, let's see. Lights, 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 lights. Anything to do with lights. There's there's some lover lights. There's some uh, pennant lights. Stuff like that. You know, here's a sink just randomly sitting here. Uh, you yeah, know, whatever. There's another sink. Uh, there's a Kimmore over-the-range thing. And then we have hundreds of boxes of ballast. These things go all the way along the back side of the thing. And they're stacked up like that back there. They're just hundreds of them. More lights. Like I said, I couldn't show you the vanity that I wanted to show you because it was dark in here, so probably can't see anything. The water's running upstairs. But this is our storage room. It's been like a little tour of our other shop. Uh, the one that nobody wants to come up to because it's, it's always a mile and a half away from from every location that you're called from. These are uh, Comcast boxes that mount to the wall. And screw here, Just punch out the little rubber piece here and uh, mount that in the place of your uh, wall socket. And if you wanna use the box, you go to two TV or you use the HDMI on the side. And if you don't want to use this box and just use this as a wall plate, then you can go to video de the device and it goes straight through it. These are remotes. I guess they're the X2 remotes. Look like that. So, um, plenty of those. Boxes and boxes of those. And a bunch of boxes. So. A uh, little storage room. That's all it is, really. Jeff the maintenance man, y'all have a great day.